Hey everybody, hey subscribers, hello new subscribers, and if this your first time seeing me, it's me, it's your girl, saying. Yes, I've been missing in action, but I've been missing you guys, I told y'all, you know, God has been dealing with me, it's a lot of things going on in my personal life, but, you know, I turn into introvert, but it's okay, but I had to get on here. I'm so sick of Cardi B, I don't know what to do. You know, she always running her mouth on Instagram, Twitter, or what's not with these females about different shit. Now you chucking shoes at the New York Gala, whatever, at Nicki Minaj. What's up with her? I think they said that Nicki Minaj supposed to have said something about culture, which is her baby. And that's what caused her to, you know, go off. I think it's farther than that. I think it's farther than that. I think maybe she didn't miss what uh what's his name? Offset. Cause don't she uh she cool with Quavo, Nikki. So, you know, I also believe Nikki going through postpartum. I mean not Nikki, but Cordy. She's going through postpartum. She really needs to sit down. Cause I suffer from postpartum. I normally suffer after I have my babies, and it can be bad. It could be really, really bad. It can be really bad. Somebody can get hurt. You see what Andrea Yates did to her kids with postpartum. But um, I think maybe Nikki messed with Offset because you chunking shoes, your dress got ripped, your ass was hanging out, you fighting like a hood bitch in the motherfucking strip club, like you said you come from. So it doesn't surprise me that you do this because this is something that you used to doing. But considering that you are not on love and hip hop, because when I seen the fight, I thought, I was like, this look like love and hip hop. They got Nikki pressed against the wall. She ain't want to fight. She ain't want to fight. And you got Cordy around here throwing shoes, acting a guy doggone fool. Cardi, you need to sit down and take care of culture and let these people do what they want to do. Nigga didn't take your bag. What fucked your bag up is because you didn't go on that tour with Bruno Mars like you was supposed to after you had that baby. And I don't even know why you booked that because it was so close to after you had your baby. I knew you wasn't going to make it. You know, this your first baby, maybe the second baby, third baby, fourth baby, you can get up. But that first baby, like you say, broke your ass. That first baby going to break your ass because this is your first time. You being broke your Yo, um, virginity is being broken in for childbirth, and that shit ain't no pump. You know what I'm saying? That's what messed up your bag, but I get that you're trying to make yourself revelant, but you're making yourself look real, real wretched in these streets, and then you're supposed to be a role model for these little kids. They already acting a goddamn fool, and here you are. You acting another fool. You been in the strip club fighting. You was pregnant fighting in the mall. You need to sit down for real. You talking about, she said something about your baby and your parenting skills. Well, what are you uh, showing culture right now? And why you name that baby culture? I'm just saying, I just had to get on here because I seen that. And I was like, this is, she, did she throw her shoe? It's her, that's her ass. Girl, go and sit down somewhere. Stop this. You are too much for this. Nikki, chill out. Your time has came and gone. Everybody, you one minute you hot, one minute you not. In with the old, I mean, in with the new, out with the old. Your time has ran. You 30 something years old, you already know retirement time. Then at the same time, look how you got into the business. You stole Lil Kim whole image. Didn't give that girl no homage or nothing. So you get what you, you get. You know what I'm saying? But I just thought it was hilarious. I seen her ass side, the shoes was throwing, they was acting a nut and everything else, you know. I know I haven't seen you guys, but I'm finna get up on my job. I miss you guys. I love you guys and everything. And we have we haven't talked in a while or what's not, but I had to get on here. I had to find me something to get on here about. But we gotta talk about this Kanika bullshit, okay? All right. Like share subscribe hit the notification button twice if you want to know when i get on here or was not i hope y'all don't forget i was saying going out no nope. encourage yourself and guess what fuck them they said because they ain't doing shit but running their damn mouth and i'm gonna talk to you guys later my baby still got up